Welcome to the Agents of the Unexplained podcast. From a haunted abandoned asylum to Sasquatch lurking in the dark woods and watching you and all things unexplained, here are the stories from outside our realm with your host, Bill Rigby. Hey everybody, we're here in full living color. Um, With all honesty, I've had this gentleman on twice already. He's that intelligent or he's just kind of like trolling me or something. I don't know. But no, seriously, we got Brian Trendley on. Oh, there's Gwendolyn out there. Hi, Gwen. Um, we got Brian on tonight. We're going to talk Skinwalker. Uh, he has a lot to say. Uh, so am I, Griff. So am I. Hey, let, let me just put this out there right now. Oh, uh, nah, the hell with it. I'll just add him. Put the man out here. <laughs> howdy, howdy. How's it going? I'm just here to troll Bill, by the way. Yes. Uh, no matter what podcast I'm on, he pops in and says, I'm here to troll Bill. Yep. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's how you know I like you, though. If I don't like you, I don't troll you. If I yeah. troll you, I really like you. Hey, go ahead and say hi to Gwen. She's out there right now. Hi, Gwen. This uh, way I don't have to tell you he said hi. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say hi to you, but you're here. So. Yeah. Albert, are you home? Albert Walker, he was in the hospital. And hopefully he got out today. And uh, and uh, my little sister from another mother says, Hi, Ryan Paul. <laughs> We're going to start calling him RPT. You know what? I had an uh-huh. uncle that used to do that. Yeah. I'll call you RPT? Yep. Yep, he sure did. When I was a little kid, it was RPT or Round Point, Texas. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, good, Albert. I'm glad you're home, brother. Uh, I'll give you a call tomorrow. Um, Dave Rupert's out here. Oh, Tim Bogle was just joined in watching. From the Bogle brothers, from up in the Northern Atlantic states. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyhow, let's let's get right into it. Okay, let's do it. How's Duke doing back there? He's doing good. He's asleep. I bored him to death. Look at it. <laughs> he doesn't think I'm fascinating. What can I say? I'm not entertaining to my dog. <laughs> no, I he tried. Was, he was giving the evil eye a little bit ago, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I won't talk trash to my dog anytime soon. Good Lord. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously. Uh, skinwalkers. Mm-hmm. Fact or fiction? To me, they are fact, okay? But uh, no. I know a lot of people out there don't believe in them because the whole shape-shifting, the magic. A lot of people don't believe in that sort of thing. But what you guys got to realize, we live in a supernatural world in a very large way. We you do? Know? Yeah, I mean, magical well, things. Really? Are- yeah. I never knew that. <laughs> you, got you got Bigfoot, you have Dogman, you have all kinds of crazy things out there. Skinwalkers yeah. are definitely a thing. All right. Um, the last podcast that I was on, you mm-hmm. popped in. Could it be the discussion was pareidolia? Mm-hmm. Do you think that could be part of it? With skinwalkers, no. No, because the Navajo aren't going off of pictures. They're going off of things that they've actually experienced throughout their history. Okay? They had okay. individuals or groups of people that became these Yi Nararushi, the skinwalkers. Right. So they're not operating off of, you know, the possibility. They're not operating off of maybe. They're operating off of we know these are out here. Hmm. Oh, here, let me put this up, what Gwen just said. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Now that's... No, wait a minute. 
I, I got a question. I got a question. Gwen, did she say Yi Narayushi? Did she say Enagroshi? Or did she say Skinwalker? Hmm. There's a reason why I ask. I'm going to cover all that here in a little bit. In fact, I could just yeah. start doing it. She said Skinwalker. Okay. okay. All right. So what people got to realize when a tribal person says Skinwalker, they sometimes mean something like an alien being, an interdimensional being. They don't mean the Yinararushi. The Yinararushi are actually exclusive pretty much to my area. To places like Arizona, New Mexico, even Colorado to a degree, but they're not going to be anywhere like Pennsylvania, Ohio, or even Wyoming for that matter. So they're mm. a very close thing. And it's because of four sacred mountains. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of those before, but the four sacred mountains, which they all they attach a color to them. You know, so you have the yellow, the black, the white, and the blue. And these four sacred mountains, the Navajo, the Diné, they believe these four sacred mountains were given by their creator. And this is where they go for their important ceremonies to do their chants and all that. So it's a very sacred land. But the Yinarushi, on the bad side of that, need those four sacred mountains in order to have the power to be a Yinarushi. Okay. Um, so Skinwalk was only by the, the four mountains? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's something that a lot of people aren't aware of. It's something that they don't want to believe either but i actually got this from navajo people they said that if there's something that's like a skinwalker like say in pennsylvania for example it's not likely that it's a yi narayushi because they need those four sacred mountains without them they can't operate and transform they can't do their magic they can't do their spells so they need these four sacred mountains cool that's that makes some sense so they're mm -hmm. a different type of skinwalker then yeah yeah, I mean, every tribe has some kind of form of skinwalker. Like the Cherokee have the raven mocker, you know, yeah. but they're not, they're not Yinarushi, though. They're not like the Yinarushi in the sense that they can take an animal pelt and they become the animal. Like, say, a Yinarushi wants to become a, a coyote. He or she would wear the pelt of a coyote and turn into that coyote. Whoa. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, hmm. Got my mind working. Got me worried. Uh oh. So, what kind? If the over towards central Pennsylvania, there's a skinwalker. What, what would it be called? It wouldn't be called a skinwalker again, would it? No, I would think that'd be some kind of like maybe an extraterrestrial thing, you know, or maybe even interdimensional. But it wouldn't really fall into the category of the Yinarushi slash skinwalker. Okay. Because they need the, you know, like I said, those four sacred mountains. So. True, true. And Griff, I, I got to kind of, I don't know, I would say witchcraft in the Appalachia, but I'd say paranormal, cryptic mm -hmm. type stuff going on. Yeah, and I'd it, say it's more it, paranormal. Yeah, and up in um, the Alleghenies, there's mm -hmm. a lot of paranormal, cryptid, and UFOs. Yeah, I think uh, that's something that we have to uh, we have to start separating the two. You know, when people hear like there's weird events or high strangeness, for some reason their brain always goes to witchcraft, and witchcraft wasn't always a bad thing. You know, it wasn't always used as a tool of evil. You know, a lot of the times they were using, you know, herbs and they were using things for medicines and they were trying to cure White people. Witchcraft. Yeah, it wasn't always evil. And I think a lot of people just associate yeah. it with nothing but evil. As soon as you hear witchcraft, you, you associate evil. Now, yeah. you got your white and your black. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and when someone says they're a witch, I just look at them and, and I let them finish explaining. Mm -hmm. and and that's the thing they got to they got to explain how they're going with it they're going to the black witchcraft i try to get away from them as soon you know, as with, possible with something like that though bill it's intent you know it's intention like do they look to hurt people or are they just trying to you know understand 
the universe in a better way. I don't really like to put it in any pocket where it's evil and it's bad. Um, Gary Oldfield was saying witchcraft was used the same as the Indian me medicine. A yeah. lot of it, yes. Well, I mean, the, the Navajo, they have what's called the witchery way. Okay, and for them, it was a way of life. It wasn't a bad thing. You know, I mean, did it go bad at times? Absolutely, but anything can. You know, I mean, I don't want to make anybody mad, but look at Christianity. You know, I mean, it's a good thing that a lot of violence is attached to it. A lot of murder is attached to it. So any good thing can be used in a bad way. It's all intention and the person that's doing it. Well, like uh, Israel, Hamas, that, that's religion war. That, mm -hmm. That's all it is. And yes, and... Yeah, see, Gwen uh, agreed. Yeah, Gwen, you're yes. Oh, wrong one. Um, I put this up for people to read. It's all intention. You have to the balance between the white and the black magic. You yeah. do, but I associate the black magic as not trying to understand Earth better, but trying to use Earth for their own means. Right. And, you know, in the case of the skinwalkers, you know, that's exactly yeah. what happened because they're they're shaman, they're medicine men that learn the darker form of their magic ways. So, I mean, I kind of compare it to Jedi and Sith. You know, you got the right. you got the good ones, the good shaman, which would be the Jedi. OK, then you had the shaman that became greedy and very angry and very violent. And they became the Yin Alushi. And they'd be more like the Sith because they wanted to learn these magics to hurt people, to cause chaos, to disrupt their own people. You know, so, I mean, like Glenn said, there has to be that balance. It has to be evenly balanced out. Oh, exactly. And, mm -hmm. and when I say I try to back away from it as soon as possible with the, with the black witchcraft stuff, because I don't want to get drawn into the evil end of it. Right. You know, uh, and that's where I'm going with that. Uh, right. I do understand the white witchcraft to a point. I'm not. Do I have to quote Obi-Wan to you, Bill? I mean, do I have to be like from a certain point of view? Because I mean, something yes. our point of view, what you think is evil, somebody else might think as necessary and not evil. You know, so it's it's really a hard thing. It's a slippery slope for you to really get into. It is. But I watch Charm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was forced into it. I'm sorry. Oh, you just watched it for Alyssa Milano. Don't lie. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm glad you made it back, fellas. Um, and Griff says, nope, not talking about evil. Leave the X out of it. But, um, it's, yeah. <laughs> uh, but with the skinwalker, they are basically the evil end of it. Yeah, I mean, you have the witchery way, which, you know, the shamans all practice and they learn how to heal people with their magic, right. with their, their chants, their ceremonies. With the Yinarulushi, what happened is they learned that there was power that they weren't being taught with the good ones. So they devote themselves to this black magic. And in order to even like start learning this, it's very gross. And I hope nobody has a weak stomach here today. But in order to devote themselves to it, they have to kill a family member that are close to you. It can't be someone that they just know. It can't be a stranger. It has to be someone that they love greatly, a mother, a grandmother, a grandfather, someone that they care about very deeply. They have to take them out into the desert and they murder them. And this is a way of offering a sacrifice to the dark arts that they're about to practice. Hmm. Uh, but the thing is too, my dad was alive. I'd be practicing that. No. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, my dad was an asshole. But that, that's ne neither here or there since he's mm -hmm. not nowhere near here ever again. But but like one said, but again, all magic is a matter of intentions. She's right. right. Um, you know, but anyhow, I'll let you go on about the skinwalker. Okay, so I'll try to they, quit interrupting. All right, once they've murdered this family member, they're then accepted into the the sect that is the Yinarulushi. 
And what they do from there is they go to a very special place that's in the four sacred mountains. It's usually a cave or something very, someplace very desolate in those mountains where they join with the other Yinarulushi. And by campfire, they're surrounded by mounds of flesh and by murdered people. And they do their dark incantations. And this is how they get the supposed power to transform into animals and to learn how to possess one's mind and how to play mind games on. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, uh, I'm just trying. So with the other ones all gathered at that campfire, is this their kills or did they go out and randomly kill a bunch of other ones and quit there? Oh, this is all their kills. This is, you know, uh, people they slaughtered along the way. It's all sacrifices. It's all, you know, giving innocent people to this dark magic that they're going to be practicing, that they're going to be a part of. So this is why the, the Navajo, the Diné, they're terrified of the Yinarulushi because they're, you know, they're the bad people. They're not the ones that you want to associate with. These are the ones that specifically choose to cause chaos and disorder in their own people, in their own tribes. All right. So with that being said, how do they distance themselves from it and not let them come into their tribe? Well, normally they're exiled. They're made to leave and they're not allowed back. But that kind of angers the one that became the Yinarulushi. You know, you have that offense of being exiled. So it creates that rivalry between the Yinarulushi and their former tribe mates. So then it's, you know, it's intent on taking revenge for being exiled, which is ironic because they choose to become Yinarulushi. So, you know, they're taking out their anger for their own decisions on their people. True. Mm -hmm. And that, that's when they wage sort of like a war against their own people now. Oh yeah, and they absolutely will. They'll you know they'll make the crops wither away. They'll poison livestock. They'll do spells to poison the water. You know they'll torment individuals by you know playing mind games with them, talking telepathically to them. They even say, "Don't look in the eyes of a Yinarulushi because if you make eye contact, he or she can possess you." Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's terrifying. It's really, it's scary stuff. And I, you know, I get a little annoyed when I see TikTokers and Instagram users posting these videos and everything they see, they're like, oh, it's a skinwalker. It's a skinwalker. No, it's not. Because if a skinwalker set his or her sights on you, you're not going to just walk away from it. It's not going to just chase you out of the woods. And that's the end of the story. If you're seeing a skinwalker, it's allowing you to see it because it wants you to know it's there. Oof. I'm glad I never had to worry about that. <laughs> and I look into this, Bill. I go to places where people say that, you know, the skinwalkers practice their magic. I go there willingly looking to see if I can find some evidence. I'm probably stupid for doing it, but stupid is as stupid does. Yeah, but you're a researcher. Yeah. So that makes the difference. It's not being stupid. You're trying to research and see if you can come up with any more evidence toward it. Uh, I can understand that. What I'm trying to do too, though, Bill, is I'm trying to raise awareness, you know, because I mean, people joke about the skinwalkers like they do the Wendigo. Yes. And to me, I find that really offensive. It's like, you know, this is a tribal belief, okay? This is something that's very, very important to them. We shouldn't be whitewashing it. We shouldn't be making jokes of it. We shouldn't be mocking it in any way because it's very important to them. Uh, yeah, and... Well, you know how I feel about the natives. I, I, it's not my respect for them. Right. And, you know, and their beliefs and how they bring their history down every mm -hmm. generation and the whole nine yards. And for them to make fun of the thing, of anything that pertains to the natives, Mm -hmm. it's it's wrong in my book too totally wrong and i always found it really weird though because i mean you know the natives the navajo the dene people they're so afraid to talk about the yinarushi okay and to yeah. me that that says a lot when they don't even want to speak of them they don't want to speak their names because you know they don't want to bring them about that's something that we as a society have to consider and go okay well 
if they're afraid of them, <clears throat> maybe we should be afraid of them too. You know, maybe there's something to fear because they weren't scared easily. You know, it's not like they just like got terrified of, you know, Bigfoot or whatever. They weren't terrified of him, you know? Right. So if they're, if they're terrified of the Yi Narayushi, there's something to it. And we have to pay attention to that. And we have to respect that too. We have to respect that fear. Oh, 110%. Because um, the, the natives are not a afraid. They don't no. have the fear like us white men. Right. You know, um, because the way they've been brought up, understanding the nature, mm -hmm. their culture, the whole nine yards. And... You know, I might catch some grief for saying this, but actually, white men are a bunch of chicken shits. It's true. Yeah, I you know I'm probably going to catch grief for that. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to stand by that. Well, even though I mean, I'm a white man, I'm standing by it. It's valid. It's extremely valid. You know, and I just you know I uh, see people going around and like trying to disprove the existence of skinwalkers. And I think that's incredibly wrong. Yes. You're correct. You're 100% correct when, yep. So that's something wait, that people wait a minute. Do. If she's correct with that, so you going up researching that area, you basically won't get attacked. For a well, no, I wouldn't say that because you got to remember, Bill, when I go out there, this is their land, okay? This does not belong to me in any way. So when I go out there, I'm going onto their turf. Now, if they choose that I'm trespassing or they feel like I'm doing something wrong, could I get messed with by Yinarushi? Absolutely. I, I okay. easily could. Now, okay. it doesn't mean that they don't mess with white people. They don't. But, you know, when you're going onto their turf, you know, that's when they go, oh, you just came onto my home property. It's fair game now, white boy. So... <laughs> Yo, yeah, that, that, something I did uh, last summer. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, but, Griff, you're right. To yes. Disregard the wisdom of the local native population is foolish. You, Absolutely. You're 110%. Yeah, that's why Sometimes you, you might out. understand them. You yeah. might not understand the wisdom they're telling you. Mm -hmm. Before I go out doing my research, though, I'll have William Nighthawk do blessings for me. So that way, you know, I have his... Lakota blessing to right. protect me from stuff. Hey. Feels mm -hmm. cool. And yes, and well, like I told you before, my aunt, she was a Seneca princess. Her dad was chief of their tribe. Yeah. I remember you telling me that, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I just wish I was able to spend more time with her to understand more of it. But it great deal you know, of wisdom to be learned. Yes. Deal. So but I kind of, they didn't live in our area. My uncle Ron moved her up and into Michigan. And right. <clears throat> right. So we, when we did see him, it was a couple of days at a time and every couple of years. Right. I think skinwalkers became so popular too, though, because of the rise of Dogman's popularity. You see how many people per day, you know, saying that Dogman is a skinwalker, and that's just that's not. The oh, case. I, I argue that one too. Yeah, it's just I'll it's argue. the case, and you know, when people are going, oh well, they're the same thing. No, they're not. You have to look at the names, okay? Like Yinarudushi, when you translate it to English, it means by means of it, on all fours he goes, okay? On all fours, Bill. On all fours. Yeah. And they never said that he becomes a bipedal wolf or a bipedal bear when he transforms into an animal. No, what they mean is when he transforms into the animal, he literally transforms into that animal. And that's why the Navajo will tell you the only way to know if it's a skinwalker is either A, when you capture it and cage it, it'll turn back into its human form, or B, you look at the eyes. When they're in their animal form, the eyes have a strangely human shape where they look more human than animal, which is very interesting because when the yeah. you know, in his human form, the human eyes look more animal-like. So it's kind of a weird thing where the transformation doesn't kind of go the right way. Wow. that That's very interesting there. Grip's uh, kind of arguing with you. Hmm. Uh, 
Well, see, that's what you think, Griff. But someone who personally researches Yi Narayushi and Skinwalkers, I can actually say you are incorrect because people have compared Dogman and Skinwalkers. They put them hand in hand for a very long time. It is something yes. that happens. Yes. So, um, but the thing, I see where he's going with that. I gotta agree with him. Uh, today's society I'd rather sit there and watch a TV show about the stuff so the producers can make money instead of really studying it like you have. Right. And, Uh, yeah, it's it's just a sad situation when it comes to that. That's like yeah. finding Bigfoot and all that crap. Uh, I don't watch none of those shows. Yeah, yeah. I mean they are all, ratings, Phyllis. That's all it is. They're scripted. It's about sensationalism, you know. Right. And uh, I don't know why they chose the name Skinwalker for Skinwalker Ranch. I really don't. I don't know if maybe they were going along the lines of the extraterrestrial kind of thing, or if they were kind of gearing towards the Native American belief. I mean, I would think if they were going towards a Native American belief, they would use a Native American name, you know, you yes. know but, you know, the name Skinwalker, it attracts attention. I mean, go on, you know, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, they'll always tag hashtag Skinwalker when it's got nothing to do with the Skinwalker. Yeah, very much so. And I, I we've had several dog man reports. Mm -hmm. in Mercer County here. Um, I took one right on the outskirts of Sharon. A kid was going down there to go fishing. Mm -hmm. Jamie King took one in Farrell. There's been several out in South Pie and out toward the Shenango Reservoir, which all leads, the Shenango River comes right down through all of them. So mm -hmm. I believe the dog man is traveling along the riverbanks. Yeah. I mean, that's what I've been saying for years is yeah. they follow the creeks. I mean, yeah. that's why I do my research in a riverbed. You know, I mean, they follow waterways. They follow where the, the food's going to go. And a lot of animals do travel along waterways. Yeah. And Chris says he's not arguing with you. He's just saying TV. And I agree. Yeah, I'll agree with, that. Oh, I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. I think that's really where like all this confusion about the skinwalker does come from though. Yeah. So you know, if there's like, if there's a, a dog that's too big, they're like, Oh, it's a skinwalker or, you know, something strange happens. They automatically think, Oh, you know, it's a, a skinwalker. All I mean, right, I, Sparky, you're right. I did. I'm sorry. I, up in Mercer, there was a, <clears throat> the dog man sighting up there. And I believe there was one up in Hadley too. Mm-hmm. I get, the, if I, remember I, right. I get the skinwalker question too with my dog man encounter yeah. which is like i can understand why i get it okay because you know people associate both of them as the same thing but i don't think people stop and think i saw the hyena like dog man okay so if that were a skinwalker it's like well where did he or she get a hyena pelt we don't have hyenas in arizona i mean did it break oh, you into, know no so did it break into the zoo and kill a hyena i mean <laughs> what <laughs> no uh -huh. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, and I get in arguments about Bigfoot and dog man, uh, just elongated nose on a Bigfoot. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm no. not buying that. I can you see know? it in some cases. All right. Some cases yes. I could see it, Bill. I could, but because I mean, if you see something from a distance or you see it in poor lighting and it has, you know, the long snout, yeah, okay. You know, you might mistake it for a dog man or whatever. But, you know, are all of them the same thing? No. All right. Mothman Moth 46, what's up, my dude? <laughs> Good question here. Okay, so this is where things get really dark. So if uh, Yinara Lushi wants to transform into an animal, he or she will usually choose a predatory animal because in the Navajo belief, predatory animals are sacred. The bear coyotes wolves they're very very important so a yinarushi will purposely select a predatory animal such as a coyote kill one skin it take that pelt back to a, a cave or a lair somewhere and for days and even weeks on end it'll pour his or her magic into that pelt it'll do sacrifices which means it might kill a child 
and pour the blood into it and it'll do the dark incantations and after a certain amount of time that pelt is now ready for it to use so it'll wear that pelt and it'll turn into that said animal so it's not really a werewolf transformation it's literally a whole transformation from man into a coyote or a wolf or whatever they don't become a werewolf or a were coyote they become that wolf or coyote hmm I think he likes your explanation. Nice. Yeah, Mothman46 is good people. He's very Yes, good. he is. Uh, I got a lot of respect for him. I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't tell him I said that. Yeah, don't tell him I said it either. I don't want him to get <laughs> he he'll, use that it. he'll use that against us. Yeah, he Mothman, might think Mothman, are you coming up Saturday? All right. See if he's coming up Saturday. He kind of shocked me when I saw him. Uh, thank you, Mothman. Thank you, Mothman. We try to get this in-depth stuff on here as much as possible. Sometimes we slack. and uh, That's why, I, right, oh, hell yes, you're going to be awesome. Uh, he's coming why up have, to the conference. Why do I have a feeling he said that like Stone Cold Steve Austin, though? I don't oh, know. Hell that. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I pictured him saying it like Stone Cold for some reason. Mothman, I, <laughs> I can see him doing that. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> but, Rod, you are great, brother. A lot of respect. And last year, down in West Virginia, we were sitting around a campfire talking. And I, mm -hmm. Well, I was kind of sitting listening, and Rod was saying stuff, and I'm like, that's the way I think. Mm -hmm. And then he's saying some more. That's what I do. And it's like, wow. <laughs> you know, and that's when I I always liked Roger, but then I really said, this dude got it together. He, yeah. He, he's he, awfully he, quiet, usually. Uh, but he got, he got a lot of information, too. And the way he does things and that, but he's quiet about it. You know, he, that's the he, best kind of people, right there, man. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I, I don't know if the other two amigos gonna be with them or not. <laughs> <laughs> There's usually three of them running together when I see them, but and that's you know, that's they're great people. I, I met some really good people in this field. I'm telling you straight up, yeah, really good. Uh, yeah, I've they, met some not so great ones, but I've met yeah. some really, really outstanding people. And these people really opened up my eyes, like you have too. You know, I'll, oh, thank you. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of credit there too, Brian. I won't <laughs> leave you out in the that field. Um, but that's the thing. You know, a lot of people don't listen. They just go out there to their own thing. And I, I like to listen from other researchers and learn, you know, like Bigfoot. There's so much more to learn from Bigfoot alone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, absolutely. And that's the thing. And I really enjoy learning as I go with that and learning as we go with the Wendigo, the Skinwalker, the whole nine yards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I still go. I had Steve Ward on about the Mothman, but I still want to get Miss Ashley on, get her oh, perspective on. too, um, on it. You know, because we got to learn more from this. Yeah, yeah. There's always more to learn. That's yeah. the thing is, like people think you can learn everything about one subject, but you really can't. I mean, with my Wendigo and Skinwalker studies, I'm learning something new every single day. You know, and yes. so I always tell people, keep an open mind. You know, you can be, you know, bold and think that you're doing good because you probably are doing a good job. But don't ever be so cocky and arrogant that you think you learn everything, that you know everything and you know more than anybody else because you don't. Nobody does. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm just a small fish in a big pond. Right. I mean, that's all and, we all are, man. And I, I'm learning. And I'll never say I know enough to be an expert at any of this 
And oh yeah, there's no experts, Bill. I mean, if there were, I know there. I know. And have answers to everything. We'd have proof to everything. We'd be able to actually prove things don't exist, things do exist. We're far from it. We're so far from it. Uh, well, the other thing too is, I always believed there was a Bigfoot out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. I always thought, you know, up in Canada or out northwest. Um, until I start researching more and more and more. And I always believe we need DNA. Mm -hmm. even, even for a skinwalker, let's get a DNA. No. Well, see, that's the problem, though, Bill, with a skinwalker. Like, DNA wouldn't do any good because it would just come back as a human. You Maybe. Know, it's, it's not an alien. It's nothing like that. Maybe. If, no. If they got a coyote, if they transform into a coyote. No, 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 because they got to wear the pelt. They have to wear that coyote's pelt and they can take it off. So the DNA doesn't merge with their human body. Okay. All right. I see what you're saying there. Okay. I, I, you know, Nushi, they have a way of covering their tracks. I mean, I was told by some people around here in Arizona to be very careful because you never know who's a Yinarushi. They're not going to tell you. And you may not even see signs that they are unless you're really, really, really looking. And one of the signs they told me to look for is again the eyes their eyes will have a silvery glow to it during the daytime so it looks like there's a mirror in their eyes where it's shining oh. so if you ever see somebody that has very shiny eyes like that during the day i wouldn't recommend talking to them hell no <laughs> hell no um but hi beverly i hope the better app's getting better he just ended up in the hospital Everybody's going into the hospital. What's going on here, man? Hey, I'm staying the hell out now. <laughs> I had my share. Hey, I got a very important question right now for you, Ryan. Sure. What the hell is that thing next to you? On which side? Right here? Yeah. This is the plush Wendigo that La Ashley bought for me. Oh, okay. All uh, we got to see was part, part of the antler there. Yep, that was a gift from Ashley. So I put it... Right on my microphone, so. <laughs> I was just seeing part of the antler. It was like, I got to ask him. Yeah, he glows in the dark, too, so it's pretty neat. I mean, yes. she knows what I like. He's still in the hospital with pancreatitis. Ugh, poor guy. Pancreatitis? Oh, boy. Mm. Yeah, that's what um, I was thinking, too, Griff, uh, about the DNA. And I think it... Would it though? Because I mean, I, you got to think there's magic involved here, you know. So, would their magic allow their DNA to be tainted so that you know it'd be obvious like that? I don't think so. I really don't. I don't know. Truthfully, it, if you're able to, to capture. I don't want to try to capture one. <laughs> to I, yeah, I would ever recommend trying to capture one. Unless, though, I mean, there are kind of like anti-measures that they take that you're supposed to do if one's after you. And interestingly enough, the most powerful method to stop a, a Yinarushi is by learning his or her name. If you learn the real name, you strip away their powers. Oh. Mm -hmm. Of the person that it transforms. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So if you okay. can learn their, their true name, their full true name, then you render them powerless. But the problem is, though, when they become a Yinarushi, they abandon their old names. They abandon old everything. So there's no remnant of that old person anymore. And Ghost Dragons is here. Hey, buddy. Yes. Yes, I he just is. Did I did a show yesterday with him and Gemma Jade, and I had a great, great time. Oh, sweet. Yeah, well, did, oh. to join us, Ghost Dragon. Yeah, he's oh. outstanding. He and Gemma, they do an excellent, excellent show. They're such yeah. good people. Uh oh, <laughs> Mothman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Leave it to Mothman to come up. And, yeah. uh, Thanks a lot, dude. Now I have the whole dad thing stuck in my head. Fragile. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, I, 
I posted something the other day on that, my agent's page in uh, with the Muppets. Oh boy! And their song, so it got some people going. But I got my sexy alien with me tonight. Oh, Schmexy. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Katie Elizabeth. She sent that to me. Uh, Somehow I knew you were going to say that's who did it. I don't know yeah. why. I had a feeling that's who did it. Yep. She she messed me. I need your address. I'm sending you something special. Yep. You know what? Um, my dog. And I'm like, do I really want to give her my address? I'm kind of leery. What is she going to send me? I think my dog might be a skinwalker, Bill. Look how he's sleeping, man. He's sleeping like a human. He's got his head on my pillow and everything. I think he's taking your bed. Yeah. Here, yep. You're sleeping on the floor tonight. <laughs> Um. Yeah, that's not where Wendigo came from. No, mm -mm. not the shaman spirits. No, 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 no. That's another one that's really very confused with Skinwalkers is the Wendigo, and I think people what they need to do is uh you got to look at the names, the meaning of the names. You know, I mean they have the. The tribal names, you know, like Yinarushi, Wendigo slash Wetigo. But Wendigo, when you translate it to English, actually translate to the spirit who devours. So right. we've got to look at the names, you know. I mean, there's a lot in a name, okay? And if you look at the definitions of the names, you're going to learn a lot about those entities. Try Googling it, Beverly. I mean, the Wendigo, I could talk about for days, man. I could give you a full <laughs> history of Wendigo. But <laughs> what, what did we do about two hours on the Wendigo that day? Yep. Yeah. You know, so yeah, you know, you are a wealth of information on these crazy cryptids. Oh yeah. Well, I wouldn't and, even really call them cryptids, though. I'd call no, well Wendigo. We can. Yeah, you know, Lucy, I wouldn't <clears> call cryptids either. I'd say that's more of a, a supernatural thing because they're humans that shape shit, sure. so they're not really cryptids. Um. Ah, uh, the dog-headed saint, huh? Uh, Mothman, I think maybe he did exist at one point in time, and I think that's a very good start to look for answers with a dog man. Uh, Daniel Williams, hello there. Say hi to you and me. Uh, hey. And hey, everyone else that said hi, I'm sorry. Uh, I just, uh, I've been uh, keeping an eye on this stuff. Yep. And the Questions. I'm not, I'm not ignoring anybody, but for Facebook users, all I see is Facebook user. I don't see any individual hey. names, so I can't shout out names. Well, I got a, I got it on my phone in front of me. Um, all right, all right, uh, Mark Eddie sending me stuff about my something on the archives, but anyhow, why? Tonight, but anyhow, so Ghost Dragon goes. Is there a dog, a dragon face saint? Yeah, I call him Godzilla Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to see that new movie coming out. Oh, Godzilla X Kong. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be good. I mean. I'm a little worried about them giving Kong the glove and everything like that. Kind of feel like yeah, that, I saw that and I'm like, hmm, they're going too much in a superhero direction for me. I don't need them to be super heroic. Just let them be giant monsters and you know smash buildings and beat each other up. You don't need to make them all super heroic. It's okay. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. You know, it, I saw the glove and I went. Ah, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are we going into these wrestling shows now with that? I think we yeah. kind of are. I think they're trying to make Godzilla and Kong into like the Avengers and whatnot. Yes. Uh, you know, I mean, you got to be careful, though. You know, I mean, Godzilla and Kong, you should have a good story to it. Sure, absolutely. But yeah. don't make them like, you know, into characters that they're not. Because then you're lo losing the concept. You're stepping away from their actual characters. And that's... Not okay to do. I agree.
Thank yeah. you, Mark. I thought so, Ghost. I kind of had a feeling that this Godzilla X-Kong was going to be poor received. Well, if Toho steps in, Ghost, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Godzilla minus one. That's how you should do a Godzilla movie right there. That was such a good movie. Yes. Oh. And then seeing it in black and white. Oh, my God. Whew, that was so awesome for me. I got goosebumps, man. I was just like, wow. Yeah. I'll, I was always a Kong dude. Oh, I in my Kong. younger days, I was Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, no, watching the, the old Japanese Godzillas. It's like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, don't get but, me wrong. Man. I, I adore Godzilla. I love everything about Godzilla. But yeah. I love me from Kong, too, man. Kong's yeah. my movie, too. You can love them both. It's absolutely yeah. allowed. And how they came together. I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. The songs, like you said, they don't make them into like the Avengers superhero type. Right. Uh, and that's they're superheroes as it is. Yeah. They're already going in that direction, though. And I think they got to be really careful with that, you know? Yeah. Don't lose the basis of what those movies were. And that's what they're. That seems like it's going to, but I want to see it so I can be wrong. Oh, yeah, I'll see it, and I'll give my judgment after that. But, I mean, yeah. even the enemies in there, I kind of find those enemies to be a little uninspired. You know, when you look at, like, King Ghidorah, or you look, like, at the Smog Monster or Destroya, you know, those are some really imaginative enemies. Then you look at Scar King and Shimo, and you kind of go, why the step back, you know? Yeah. But, yep. Um, but they're trying to bring everything back, but it ain't coming back. Right. Right. Yeah, so, if anybody's got questions about Skinwalkers, though, now is the time. I'm sure mm -hmm. somebody will have some questions eventually. Oh, Ghost Dragon says that the Black Knight will be released with the 4K Blu-ray. That's gonna yep. be good. I'm gonna. Oh get yeah. That. I'm gonna get that. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get it. I'm gonna score it. Yep. But um, now with the skinwalker, mm -hmm. how big of an area can they travel? Not very far. You know, a lot of people think that they can go like to all these other states. They can go to New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, Texas. Anything beyond that, their power diminishes. It's kind of one of those things that like think of it as like the further away they go, the weaker they get. So if they go okay. too far away, they have no power. And the Yinarushi isn't going to want that. You know, they dedicated themselves to this section, to this group, and they killed somebody to be a part of it. They're not going to just give it up by walking away. True. All right, Griff. Cool. I don't know. I honestly don't have an opinion on that just yet. I'm going to be um, July up in the Alleghenies Mountains mm -hmm. yeah, again this year. We were up there last September, um, Gwendolyn and I, and me and her is doing a camp out up there, inviting Ooh. other ones to come. Um, the thing is, is that there's so much going on up there. Right, right. There is, but. Um, in Griff, like I told you, my aunt, her dad was a chief of a Seneca tribe up there. Mm -hmm. Do I know? No. Do I know that family? No. No. Unfortunately. I'd love to because I go up there and find things out. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, in that territory, I mean, maybe the Seneca have a belief similar to the Cherokee. You know, Cherokee do believe in the Ulanga Dogala, which is the spirit with knife teeth, okay? Right. And I've seen a lot of people comparing that to a dog man, but it differs from a dog man though because they say that when it runs it runs like a wolverine so it slopes when it runs you know and it disappears and it can turn into fog i i don't see that as the dog man but i think there could be something similar up in the seneca indian territory though for sure yeah uh, uh like you said in the beginning of the our show here um uh, it's the evil end of the shaman that basically so that could happen with any tribe 
Yeah. Yeah. The Seneca, the Cherokees, the Navajos. But I, I don't know. Um, not every tribe has the same belief, though. Like Navajo, no, no. You know, Lushi, you know, Lushi is exclusively Diné. That belongs to the Diné people. But like I said, you know, the Cherokee have the Raven Mocker. They have things right. that are similar to a degree, but not exact. If that makes exactly, sense. Exactly, exactly. What I'm saying, they, they, they're um, the evil one. Mm -hmm. Now, it might not be Skinwalker. Or might not. Big Raven Knocker, but they all have their own. What well, one evil point? Though, interestingly enough, long, long ago, the Skinwalkers weren't evil; they weren't bad. That changed, though, during the whole you know when people were trying to push the Navajo off the land. Something went drastically wrong where these shaman decided we're not going to take this anymore, and a lot of them turned bad because of it. Oh, okay. I mean, they were so afraid of them that in 1878, Bill, there was a Navajo witch purge. And what this was is the Navajo people, if they suspected anybody was practicing witchcraft, they would kill that person because they were so fearful that they were going to do the wrong kind of stuff. Uh, Ghost just says, wasn't they like guardians before? Yeah, yeah, for a while they were. And then, you know, when settlers came over, we kind of disrupted things and as we were trying to push them out of their lands, you know, they tried to fight back in what ways that they could. And, you know, Lushi was one of them. Yeah. And again, the white man. Yeah. And this Did is why again. they're kind of like Jedi and Sith though. Cause you know, you had those guys that were practicing the good magic and because of their anger, they fell to the dark side and they started doing this nasty stuff. So much so that their own people labeled them as evil and bad and exiled them out. Right. And hey, John, no, you don't, buddy. You're in good shape. <laughs> Probably have to sleep with a light on tonight. Oh, no, no. <laughs> just check under your bed and in your closet before you go to bed. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> John. I'm playing. I'm just trying to play with you. Uh, and Ghost, you're right. We The white man did stir the pot big mm -hmm. time. Uh, Um, Griff, uh, like the dog soldier scenario. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, good analogy, Griff. Hey, there she is. Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Do, 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 do. My sexy alien. <laughs> I just want to know something though. How come she sent you one of those, but I didn't get one, man? Because okay. I'm special. Yeah. Oh, you want to play it like that? Okay. And I'm right. special. I'm special. I rode I'm the special. short bus. I remember that. I'm going to write that down, man. I'm literally writing it down. <laughs> hey, right good. Just remember, I rode the short bus. Oh, uh, so you're and not special. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> she said, okay, she'll send you one. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, uh, yeah, no, the really I really think that like, people got to take the the Yi Nalushi far more serious. Take the Skinwalker. Yes, they do. Serious. You know, when you label everything as Skinwalker or whatever, you're spitting on the belief of the Diné people. And I, I don't think that we as a community need to keep doing that. I think we need to start respecting those beliefs and start looking into them. You know, the more you know. Remember that old commercial when we were kids, Bill? The more you know with the star going yes. by? We need to practice that again. We need to start researching stuff. We need to speak to the actual people that hold these beliefs and taking it from them. Too many people take it from other YouTubers or TikTokers, and that's a that's, big mistake too. I have a lady, and I love her dearly. It, it's in my group. I, she tries to post a lot of TikTok stuff on my group. Some mm -hmm. get, uh, some I like, but I, I declined a bunch too. You should. I mean, TikTok and, is not a good source for no. actual research and information you know i mean instagram isn't either though bill i mean you got no vader when people are posting sunny vader bigfoot videos that's when you gotta go oh, okay we gotta stop this <laughs> oh shit don't get me started on sunny well, oh we, uh, we had that battle not that long ago uh, i will get you started on that because i think sunny vader is a lying sack of bleep. Oh, He's whoa, a whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute i'll see you saturday mothman 
you're going to get a Shetland pony kick to the kneecap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Oh, you're so mean! Wow, man! Uh, oh man! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! At you, bro! <laughs> uh, yeah, the Sunny Vader crap, and I'm being nice about it because, well, Sunny Vader is nothing but a piece of shit hoaxer. There. there you go, and that's all I got to say. Anyone start posting Sunny Vader stuff, I'm kicking them out of my group. Things are getting bad though when people post Sunny Vader and Peter Kane. Come on, Bill. Peter Kane. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Oh my God, yes. That's I'm sorry. Funny. I had to laugh at that one. <laughs> it, I mean, you know what though, Bill? I get my share of stupid people too. I actually had a guy come at me yesterday in messages. I was talking to Ashley about this last night. He came at me with my skinwalker information. He's like, oh, you can't research skinwalkers because there's no Navajo in Arizona. You, you should have seen me, Bill. I just like, I literally paused. I froze with what I was doing. I had my coffee cup like, no Navajo in Arizona. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ghost. Yeah. I've been saying that as soon as everyone starts saying, we've got to do a, uh, no. But AI, though, how do people not tell it apart from actual photos? When you look at the fingers, it always has like eight fingers on one hand, man. Yeah. Oh, somebody's got a comment about skinwalkers, and you would be correct. They were the best warriors of the tribe. Correct. And kudos. That was Sparky. Yep. Kudos to you for knowing that. I tip my hat if I had a hat. There. Bill did it for me. Thank you. I'll give him a hug Saturday. He'll be at the event. What? Idiot. Navajo? Really? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I kid yeah. you not. This guy, he, he did message me, and he was being serious. He was trying to, you know, pull the puffer fish on Ryan and, you know, flex up on him. There's no Navajo in Arizona. And I'm like, okay. Do you want me to, like, publicly shame you for your stupidity, or do you just want me to smack you? Oh, God. Uh, that's the problem we have when we try to share some knowledge. Yep. You always got some dipshit, and I'm going, and I'm being nice about it, some dipshit that will come and start shit with you. I mean, you know, he could have at least tried to do something that would have made sense. You know, like told me, oh, there's no Cherokee in Arizona. Then I would have been like, well, maybe there's a few, but not that many. But to say there's no Navajo, no Diné in Arizona, it's like, are you serious, though? I mean, are you, like, trying to be stupid? Are you doing things so I can actually clown on you and burn you down? Or are you trying to burn me? Because, I mean, it's not going to work that way. Exactly. And, Ghost, you're right. People don't yeah. pay attention to the details in those videos or pictures. True. Very true. Very, uh, very, very. So, you know, that's the thing. It, I'm not happy with the AI. I really ain't. It's no, I, I think that's a very slippery slope that could be very uh, dangerous in the long run. Yeah. Griff. He lives in Arizona. Yeah, I'm currently there right now as I speak. We won't hold that against him either this time. Oh. <laughs> this oh, time. Because you, know, yeah, huh? you got Dick back there. Oh, yeah. He doesn't care. He's asleep, man. Look at him. He's out. Because I told him to go to sleep. I said, lay on, oh, oh, lay on daddy's sleep. pillow. He's staring at you, Bill. He opened his eyes and staring right at you. Get him, dude. There you go, buddy. Get him. That's my buddy. Don't get him. Just lie there. Good job. Oh, Ghost, you're 110% right. There is. Mm-hmm. Yep. <sighs> yep, yep. That's true. And... Same, with Dogman, though. Same with Dogman. You've got, you know, Photoshop edits of Dogman that people will swear up and down. They're 100% real, but some of these photos have already been debunked. I debunked some of them myself. So when people are going, oh, hey, you know, whatever, it's real. It's like, it's not, though. 
No, and that's the thing. Uh, it's making our life as researchers harder. Mm -hmm. It but is. It really is. When you get pictures before that is kind of blurred, now you're getting a picture that looks similar to this blurry one, but it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. You just what? use AI to clear this up. Right. And, you know, that's something that a lot of people kind of look at with the uh, the Patterson-Gimlin thing, that the photo that was, you know, digitally enhanced with AI. What they don't understand is the AI took liberties and added some kind of details to it. So it's not really 100% accurate. Right. Yep. You're yeah. right. I was way too perfect. Yep. And that's the thing. And Chris says like there's weird things in that desert. There's yeah. weird things in the Alleghenies over here. Um, there's some weird shit happening in Ohio. Well, I can tell you, when I went on my uh, Skinwalker investigations, I heard somebody calling my name. I was out, dude. I was like, I'm not even playing with that. Because Skinwalkers will do that. They'll imitate someone close to you uh, with a vocal kind of thing and try to lure you in. So when I was out there by myself and somebody's shouting Ryan, I wasn't even going to mess with that. I was like, nope. Nobody out here is going to know my name. So... Who's calling my name? And I was out. I was like, bye. Yeah. That was um, that's the thing. Uh, what the Patty film? Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's always had, you know, the junk upstairs. She's definitely always had that ghost. Yes. Yeah, she always oh, had most movie. definitely. Before AI even enhanced it, it, it. They were swaying in the breeze, buddy. Yeah. Uh, they really that's and that's why I said that it's a real deal mm -hmm. yeah, I, will forever, I will forever support that Patty is real yes Yep. until somebody can show me how it was faked and actually show me firsthand like right in front of me not through video not through photo but right in front of me so I can see it for myself I will never believe that's fake, ever. And, I, and I'm not getting in arguments with other ones that say, well, I, I don't believe. Well, I don't believe. Well, you know, people can choose to believe or not believe, Bill. I mean, they're going to believe all these Dogman photos, but not believe the Patty video. That says yeah. a lot. Sorry. That says a lot. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't think there is a dogman video out there that's real. I would agree with you. I actually would agree with you. I know I'm going to piss off a lot of dogman people with that. But, you know, with dogman, we have no clear video yet. We have no clear photos yet. All we have is pareidolia and a bunch of bushes with red circles on it. That is not evidence. That is not proof. That doesn't prove a damn thing. All it proves is that you know how to make red circles. That's all that proves. It doesn't show that there's a real dogman there. You was in that... You was in that podcast I was on mm -hmm. about yep. those damn red circles. Yep. You know, maybe uh, it's like Ashley says. Ashley says that the red circles are the creatures, man. Maybe we're looking at this wrong, Bill. Maybe we're seeing those red circles, and those are all creatures right there. That the red circle creatures floating around. <laughs> oh my god! And, and with all honesty, I started seeing red circles. Well, I don't know if you've seen it on my agent's page, that Steve Steve Harvey thing I put up. Yeah. And it had all those red circles on there. And he's like, no, no. Yep. <laughs> yep. I um, saw that. Uh, yeah. And it's like. Uh, I get it, though. I mean, like, people, they want proof, Bill. They want proof of dog yeah. man, skinwalkers. I get it. Nobody wants proof more than us researchers, though, okay? The ones yeah. that go out there doing this stuff like me, you, and Gwendolyn, and Ashley, we, we want it more than anybody else. You know, yeah. we're not just shooting down photos or videos to be jerks. We're shooting them down because they're not real. They're not evidence. They're not legitimate. They're no good. And when you put stuff out there like that, you harm things for researchers like us. You make us look stupid. Mm -hmm. And this is why people laugh at us. Yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. And... 
I got in too many arguments. I just scroll on by now with that. Right I'll story. tell you what, Bill. If somebody comes up to me and says, hey, I have a, a photo that my friend caught on his trail cam, that's when I go, nope, shut up, not true, and I walk away. The minute the story starts with, my friend caught this on his trail cam, it was like, no, no, I can't. I can't. A fellow researcher of mine sent me pictures of this Bigfoot walking along the banks of a reservoir. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, I've seen these before. And supposedly this waitress that looked, worked at a local restaurant boyfriend mm -hmm. took these pictures. Uh -oh. Well, I try to get a hold of them to clarify it up. But then I, I'm I'm still searching it, the internet for these pictures, and I found them. I found them, and it's like some bitch. I knew I'd seen them before. Where were they but from? They were uh, fake. Okay. Okay. They were That's fake. Like that, that guy on Instagram. I don't know if you saw it. He had a video where the Bigfoot's chasing a guy who has a rifle, and it's a really no. I didn't shot. see that one. Okay, this is funny, Bill, because, like, you know, it's a really good dramatic shot of Bigfoot. You know, the Bigfoot's snarling and roaring. You can see the, the blood on its shoulder from where it was shot. That's great. If that were real, that'd be awesome. But that's from that movie Exists. That's the final scene in the movie Exists. So oh, it's like, shoot. I don't know why this guy would try to put that out there as his encounter. It's like, bro, that's literally from the movie Exists. Do you think we're that stupid? So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Ghost. You're not the only one. Yeah. Look at all the way here, buddy. I never got the weights in there till I start researching Bigfoot and the cryptids and the paranormal. No. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I spent a lifetime in the woods. And I yeah. do admit that. Was I researching Bigfoot then? No. no. Was I researching anything else? No, I was a hunter and, a, and I love to go out in the woods and just camp. Mm hmm And well, you still did young ghost. <laughs> but you know, um in the last five, six years, I really start researching hard. Um we yeah. retired for three. There and, you go. And went full time. And it's just we got to figure this out and I'm still trying to figure out why I didn't really pay attention to the woods like I thought I was. You know, when you're out there like that, you thought, you were. but there's stuff that happened during the nighttime to make you wonder what's going on. And uh, so it really makes you wonder. Oh, yeah. And it, it scares the hell out of some people. Um, this young guy, I think he's like between the age of 14 to 16. He's homeschooled. He's in England. Uh, and he's a cryptic researcher mm -hmm. at a young age. And I mean, he's full, full blown into it. And I'm not yeah. talking about Daniel Barnett. I'm talking about Harlow. And he, this kid, without camping, by himself, nice and he's he recording it and says i got these knocks i think i got wood knocks and he's recording you can hear it. oh that's and awesome not, and he said it's i can't get down to where it's at because the, the brush was too thick to get down to the creek or the right. string whatever string um but I'm listening to it, and I'm like, those ain't wood knocks. And he goes, they're not. I says, those are two rocks getting knocked together. Okay. I said, is there any way you can get down into that stream that near you at all it, within short distance? No, you cannot. No. It's too I thick. The kid, though, you know what I mean? Uh he no, but he he's researching and good. <clears throat> and it's starting young man, very yeah. good. And it was something was clocking the rocks together. 
Mm -hmm. and, and I'd have the opposable thumbs because without the opposable thumbs, they're not going to hold the rocks and clack it. That's true. And it could be tongue pops too, you know. I mean, I've heard people with the theory that Bigfoot uses their mouth to do it. Yes, That's, I heard that, that too. But that was, I sound exactly like stones cracking together because okay. I've done that. Um, so, and he agreed with me. He says, yeah, that's right. And that's the other thing, you know, other researchers from England, they were, Bill's right. That was, that is rocks clacking. Yeah. Wow. And so, you know, that's, I'm just talking from experience. Yeah. With that. And I wasn't trying to change his the way he was thinking, but something, and I told him straight out, something was doing this. What's up, brother Heck? Good to see you here, man. Hey, brother Heck. Uh, wait a minute. Is she? Uh, oh, right now? Yeah, my bad, bro. I probably should have sent it to you, dude. My bad. Uh, yeah, you know, it's she, a good thing to told her to stop drawing pictures. Drawing pictures is the same as manifesting stuff. Hmm. Yep. You got to be really careful. I mean, when you're scribing things like that, when you're drawing pictures of things like that, you can manifest them very, very easily. And you got to be careful doing that. Yes, I agree with that. hundred percent. And so does Beverly who put that up. And so here I'm going to, maybe we shouldn't have drawn this, but I got to show it. Oh yeah. It, please. It, it's a drawing. Next year's Penn Ohio Paranormal Conference, too. There's the poster. <laughs> That's awesome. You know what? Maybe I should show everybody my art project, too. Yes. Here. Please Hang do. Grab it. He showed me this, and I think it's awesome. Uh, Here we go. So we got a Wachuge slash Wendigo skull painted by me. It's got the tribal markings on there. It's got the antlers and everything. It's got the blood on the forehead. You get the blood all around it. Uh, we get the runes up on it. We got the antlers. Get the leather on the antlers. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yep, I can. Where's the branches? <laughs> yeah, ghost. What, what I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to tie feathers on there, too, and leaves. So uh, it's, pretty good. it's not monetized yet, brother. Thanks. Uh, oh, yeah, brother. Heck, you're, you're welcome, bro. Yeah, I, I did share his GoFundMe. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's having a hard time right now. So brother is. Yeah, brother heck, he's going through uh, some medical issues right now. My I don't are with you, brother. Yeah, I don't want to go into detail because it's his yeah, detail, but... that's his stuff. I understand, but my mm -hmm. my prayers are with you. Um, and that, that's the logo for next year's conference. It, the conference is this Saturday here in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, let me put it up. Uh, right here. Um, I have over 40 vendors, five speakers. Um, we got some special guests coming in uh, that's going to be there. We got, let's see, which one's this that. one? And here's the lineup of speakers. My MC, Amy Boo. Wow. We got Tony LeBorn from Legends and Moors. Diamond Jib Boardwine from Mountain Men. He had, he's going to talk about the different paranormal encrypted stuff that's happening in the Appalachia. Nice. Dave, Dave and Carrie Rupert, the paranormal Griddlers. Awesome people. I, I love them. They, they, Carrie, she's a picture-taking lady, let me tell you. She documents everything. More than Gwen. <laughs> and Gwen documents everything with pictures. Uh, Robert Solomon, talking about giants. Christine Soltis, uh, 
she's going to be talking about ley lines. She told nice. me, she told me that. So it's going to be a great conference. Uh, last year we had over a thousand people come through. Are you going to be recording that at all or no? Uh, yes, this year we are. Great. Let uh, me see it recorded, man. I want to see uh, it. I, Ryan O'Shea is my media partner in this. Okay. He, okay. And he's the one that's going to be doing the recording. And we're talking about doing some uh, flash drives for it. Oh, that'd be cool. All right. Cool. Very nice. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. It's really going to be interesting. And mm -hmm. Brother Heck, um, send me a friend request on Facebook. Uh, I'd like to get Ryan, but he costs too much to come. <laughs> no, okay. no, I would, I would do it for free for you, Bill. I, I definitely do it for you. All right, March 29th. All right, word. I'll definitely be there, man. I'll... And uh, definitely, yeah. You know, join my agents of down explain page um, after the show. I'll keep an eye on it because uh, if you don't answer the questions, my admins will just boot you <laughs> and say, nope, you ain't getting in. Because um, I had to take it private from the trolls, which we did get yep. some trolls because it's public. Oh, anyone can jump on. There's and trolls I, in all the groups now, Bill. The yeah. troll population is out of control. Exactly. Uh, yeah, you should meet up with uh, Ghost Dragons, Bill. Talk to him. He knows a lot too. He has a lot of biblical kind of knowledge about giants and cryptids and whatnot. So, very interesting guy to talk to. Try and request me too, Ghost. All right, awesome. Uh, we'll get. I'll get in touch with you after the the show. I appreciate it, brother. Um, so, man, did we get way offline? Hey, that's all right, man. At least we got together and yeah. have a conversation, man. Yes. We had a little bit of walker talk here and there, but we had a conversation. I enjoy that more yeah. than anything. So. Oh, it's all right. And that's what I tell everyone. When, when we do my podcast, it's not script. It's not work following everything. We're just right. going with it. And we'll yeah. go where it goes. Mm -hmm. And that's the way I look at it. You know, hell, we talked about Godzilla and Kong. I love oh, yeah. the Skinwalker and Wendigo. Yep. Uh, and Bigfoot, who cares? We cover it all. Uh, Brother Heck, I'll probably be starting my channel up again maybe sometime this year. I got to get some stuff in order and I got to get some equipment, but it'll be starting up again soon, though, brother. You better let me know. Oh, I will for sure. I'll have you on, man. Yes. Sure you want to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you want me on, though? Yeah, uh, it's a good show though, Bill. I'm gonna do stuff like we're gonna talk about cryptids, of course, and like you yeah. know, high strangeness. But I'm gonna do like movie reviews and everything like that. We'll talk about horror movies yeah. and monster movies and everything. So it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, that that'd be interesting. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta check out Gemma Jade. Her show is really good too, man. She does some awesome storytelling and narration and everything. She's good at what she does. So wait a minute. The name of it till till they you can uh, hang uh, with me and Gemma. Is that the no, name of it? No, it's Gemma Jade. Gemma, Gemma Jade. Jade. He co hosts okay. on or he co hosts with her. So Okay. They're good people though, Bill. You'll love them. They're really good people. So cool. Mm -hmm. cool. they're really good people. I like them. Oh really, brother. That's cool. That's cool, man. Yeah, Gemma uh, Jade. Yeah, I'm going to, after we get off here, I'm going right there and subscribe to it. There you go. Uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean you cannot wait till this weekend? Give, give you something to look forward to. You coming up. I'm Beverly. I thought you wasn't coming.
Mm, cool. Yeah. Yep, they're good people. You're going to like them. Yeah. That's great. Thank you, Ryan. Mm -hmm. My pleasure, man. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, and the rest of you out there, check them out. Uh, Jim and Jay, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyhow, all right. Uh, I might be doing some lives during the conference, Bev. Um, the videos probably won't get posted till next week sometime. Okay. So Ryan good. gets them all together. Ryan and O'Shea. Uh, okay. Um, and I, we're talking about maybe doing a flash drive of the event. That'd be great. Um, let me know. And, let me know, man. I'll keep my eyes open and see if you do yeah. some lives. But yeah, let me know. Yes. Um, so I'm going to try, but <laughs> don't get me laughing. Uh, Ghost. <laughs> oh, we got all them in here now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When you do shows with me, man, you're going to bring in my people and yeah. Yep. Yes. Any questions? Yeah. Any yeah, I'm waiting for questions to come up. Yeah, Brother Heck, I'll reach out to you sometime tonight, man. Yeah, because it's still early for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Chill and chat. Hmm. Is that like a Netflix and chill? Oh, oh my. I'm sorry. I had to go there. That's all right. Gary, I do not know if they're having hot dogs. They should be. I was up there today. She wanted to know how to set the tables up part of the tables and mm -hmm. i said keep it basic oh, I will oh we back. are so you should have your heart right all right i'll be right back all right uh wild bill and chill you think skinwalkers each is a psych off huh well it could be but when ryan comes back we'll ask him uh. Oh, shit. The, well, the Skinwalker Ranch. I, I hate to say that. Um, the TV show. It's all being produced. If it ain't making money, it goes off the air. So how much of it is real? How much of it is kind of confabbed up? No, I don't know. All right. I had somebody banging on my door here, even though I had a sign that says recording in progress, do not disturb. Baha, of course. Yeah. Um, all right. Now, uh, let me put this one up first. What do you think on that? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It depends on what he means by that. I mean, and you then, think it's uh, a thing put out there to mess with people's minds, or because no, no, definitely not. Possibility. So then. Then Walker correlate to a moon to moon phases you know it's interesting because they say that they actually uh practice their chants and everything for their pelts to prime up the pelts to transform into things they practice them more during full moons or eclipses 
So, <laughs> next month we're going to have them really chant. Yeah, why do you think I'm not going out? <laughs> I hear you. A buddy of mine wanted to do a skinwalker investigation during the eclipse, and I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. You can go by yourself if you want to, but probably won't come back, but you can do it if you want to. Yes. All right, Beverly, take care. That they're mainly BS. I, you know, brother Heck, honestly, I don't think they're BSing in any way when it comes to the Narayushi. I think there's very, very much something to it, and I think it's something that we need to pay attention to, and we need to take warnings from that. Yes. So. Hmm. Oh, uh, brother Heck would mention that. Yeah. Well, it's here. Okay, well, that, that Shane Clan Shadows, I'm very baffled by it. I feel like I'm very confused because he claims to be part of the tribe, but uh, it's usually forbidden for them to talk about it so openly like that. I've spoken to a Danae elder who said that, you know, they teach you teach their kids not to talk about skinwalkers or Bigfoot or Dogman, and yet here's this young man from the tribe talking about how to stop them, how to fight them, and he claims to hunt them. I, I don't know what to make of that. I want him to be honest, and I just hope he is being honest. I really do. I hope he's not using his people's beliefs just to get clicks and views. Might be bait click in it. I think so. You know, just, It seems weird to me, Bill, because all the people I've spoken to here in Arizona from the Navajo tribe, they always say we don't openly talk of them and just, you know, sit around casually discussing them. So when I saw that channel, I was like, whoa. Uh, I Off camera. So that's, that's where I'm having a problem with. Anything that happens off camera didn't happen, period. Okay? Yes. If he's fighting and hunting skinwalkers and pulled the pelt off camera, he probably just had the pelt in his backpack or something. Yeah, because... No proof. Yeah, exactly. I no mean, proof. if you're trying to prove that skinwalkers are real, the thing you're going to do is you're going to film the skinwalker. You're not going to film what you do to it off camera. You're going to show with the people what you did to it every step of the way and have that on video as undeniable proof. Simple as that. Exactly. Exactly. And mm -hmm. that's the thing. They they got the... I'm not buying into that guy. Yeah, to me, it's just it's really confusing, though, because he's a tribal member, Bill. And it's like, so you're a tribal member and you're openly talking about these forbidden things that are forbidden from your people. And you're doing it right on YouTube. That doesn't make sense to me. But is he still with the tribe? That's another good question, too. Very good question. And the guy who chased it was like 300 pounds. And I'm like, how did he catch a skinwalker? That's true, brother. And then he claimed the skinwalker had an owl feather underneath and it disappeared. Sounds like he's just trying to create sensationalism. That's what it sounds like. I don't want to insult the guy because I don't know him. But, I mean, if he's going against the practices and the taboos of his own tribe, I have to wonder what's up with that. Yep. And ghost, you're about right. Yeah, see, that's the problem, though, ghost. Because, like, the elders that I've spoken to, they said that, you know, they have to get permission from a council to even speak about these things in a private setting. So for him to just go on there and talk about them every single day in his uploads and talk about how he fights them with a katana blade of all things, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> you're allowed to do this now? Suddenly your people are allowing you to do that? I, I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah, see? Yeah, he he said that right before you said about the katana blade. And I went, and then you said katana I went, oh, here we go. That's another thing that gets me, too, because I was told that when it comes to weaponry, only the weapons of the old ways would work, which means, you know, like bows and arrows and the knives that they made. So how does a Japanese-made sword factor into the Diné culture when it wasn't even part of their culture in any way, shape, or form. There's yep. a lot of things to be questioned here, and this guy's really kind of creating some uh, 
I don't want to say it, but big piles of dumb. Correct, mate. Yep. He needs to be careful, though. I don't think he understands that young people, when they watch videos like this, they think if he does that, I can go do it. Young people shouldn't go out there looking for skinwalkers, man. Yep. And that's the thing. And that's like I told my 12-year-old. I said, I'm taking you to the Mothman Festival so you can learn about it better. Mm -hmm. and experience, you get to experience the festival, but you get to learn, too. And yeah, it's like I'm always telling people, know before you go. It doesn't matter how well you think you know a place. Research the history. Research what kind of animals are there. Research the traffic, the kind of people that frequent that place. Because the worst thing you can run into out there, Bill, is a bad human being. You know that. Yes, yes. You know, and what if you're walking out there, like in the desert here, you know, it's rattlesnake season now. What if some kid's out there running around looking for a skinwalker and he gets bit by a rattlesnake? Does he know what to do? No. So... If we have a show that's on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, we need to take responsibility and start telling kids, yeah. don't try this at home. Yeah. And yeah, like WWE says, don't try this at home. You know, right. let's be real. Right. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It, it, yeah, brother. Stuff like that really, really upsets me because me too me too because it's like you know you're practicing you know you're showing a sword saying oh i defeated a skinwalker using a samurai sword i do this i do that kids don't stop and think they're gonna think oh if he can do it i can do it too and they're gonna yep. go out at night going into the desert and even the high desert which i don't go out into the high desert alone if i'm going into the high desert i have people with me because there's cliffs there's you know rocky slopes there's things you could fall off of there's animals out there so many things that could kill you no kids should go out there alone, so they need to really start practicing some responsibility, man. And that makes me so angry because you're putting kids in danger. Yes. And the thing is, too, uh, he probably has a hell of a following. He does. He's got a lot. So of his, his, his YouTube's probably monetized. Mm hmm And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I do a podcast once a week. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I do. I do a lot of lives off my stream yard because I'm paying fifty dollars a month that you have it. Right. So I do a lot of live on my my group page. Uh, right. At fifty dollars a month, you know, you figure it's twelve fifty a podcast I'm doing. Yeah. That's still Absolutely. a lot of extra money going out. Mm -hmm. And I'm not getting monetized. I'm paying out my pocket. I'm paying right. out my pocket for Canva so I can do the, the things that to advertise it. Mm -hmm. um, that's extra money. That's only $13, but still, that's 13 extra dollars there. Um, right. Your internet, we get highest speed you can get through this internet company. Mm -hmm. uh, Spectrum. And that's extra money. Yeah. You know, so I'm doing this so I can get educated and hope, hopefully educate someone else. Yeah. I mean, that could be the purpose for it or sharing information that's actually yep. true. I think if we're you know going to tell just false stories, we should always have a disclaimer before our show starts. And we should make sure that the audience knows this is just a story. Don't try anything you hear in this story. It's not true. Don't run exactly. out there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and he's out there just trying to make money off the people. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, Gary, you have a good night too, brother. Um, we'll definitely see you Saturday. Uh, but yeah, I'm not out here to make money. Yeah, yeah, no. I I got my own shirts. I sell my hat, uh, my coffee, and couple other little coffee cups uh i take them to different shows i go because i don't charge for the shows right uh, and they go speak and, but that helped compensate for my gas and maybe food and sometimes neither <laughs> right yeah. it's not a lucrative business to be in we're not going to be no. rich people anytime soon no i'm not in it for the fame i ain't in it for the fortune i'm in it to learn 
and hopefully yeah, everyone's learned from it. You know, yeah, I mean, I, I generally love the topic. I love researching monsters and other things that go bump in the night. So, yes, yeah. Hey, I'm I'm retired now, so I can research it even deeper, I and mean, that's I like yeah. that. There and, you go. Yeah, you know, and I do watch a lot of videos and stuff people send me and, and say, oh, of course, know, that's we all know. Yeah, and that so I got more time to do it. Before I was working 10, 12 hours a day, six, yeah. seven days a week. So I didn't have that much time unless I took a day off. <laughs> Which my, wife, my wife liked it then. She don't like it now because I'm on them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. But anyhow, it's like um, 20 to 9 almost. Yeah, I realize the time now. Sorry about that. Yeah. Hey, it's fine with me. All right, well, I will let you whoa, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, wait a minute. Huh. He works for Dragon Z's favorite snack? <laughs> Ghost, you and me can get along great. Oh, dude, Ghost is a cool guy. He is awesome. Huh. He's a very, very nice guy, too. He's very down to earth, and he's very easy to talk to. Oh, we can get along great. Oh, yeah, you're going to love him. Dragon Z's, right? buddy. Yeah, I, I, I was keeping my mouth shut on that. But I couldn't resist it. When I saw Bill, you got to watch his stream. When he's doing the streaming for Gemma, when he's doing the replays, in the background, you can see his Dragon Ball Z stuff, his Batman stuff, and all oh, the stuff he's got. Yeah. Batman. Oh, yeah. Batman. Yeah, that was my nickname back when I was in my 20s. Uh-oh. Maybe we should be uh, enemies then because everybody calls me the Joker over on Twitter, so... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Not like the Batman. I was the Batman. Okay. Well, maybe I should go to the conference and show up and be like, you want to know how I got these scars? Uh, uh, I'll tell you when we're off air, <laughs> buddy, how I got the, the Batman nickname. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can't see his Godzilla as he's sitting in front of him. Yeah, same shame on you. Mine too. I got some yeah. there that you can see. Yeah, right? yep. I see him back there. You got Mothra right there. There's yeah. Godzilla 64, Gigan, King Caesar. I got some with their big boy toys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what my wife said about me collecting a lot of Bigfoot stuff. She oh, hasn't yeah. seen that yet. I'm oh, you money. haven't seen all my Predator stuff yet, man. Once oh. I get all my Predators put up, oh, yeah. oh. Oh, wait till you see my, uh, uh, I'm getting at one of Snuffy's uh, carvings of a Bigfoot. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Very it's cool. going right out front of my office out back. Putting it nice. Out there. Nice. Yep. I actually got a, I got a Yeti toy right here. I got a Yeti action figure. I know you don't have this one, though. No, I don't have that one. The creature replica, yeah. Yeah. Um, I got the Creatures, Legends, and Wars Bigfoot. Oh, nice. A uh, friend of mine got it in his uh, comic and card shop, and he called here's me a, right away. A skookum. This is a skookum figure. Oh, yeah. And then I got two of these. Oh, whoa. <laughs> awesome. That's bad. Got my Bigfoot up there, my Bigfoot bank, my Bigfoot nice. lamp. My yeah, I got Bigfoot everywhere. That's Even awesome. down in the other office. Yeah, so, you know, we just yeah we big boys toys. Oh yeah. Oh, our, our action figures. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop on off, Bill. Yeah, so get me too. Together. Hey, thank you, everybody. Um, we're going to get out of here. All right. Hey, take take care, care, all. Thanks for watching. This has been an Agents of the Unexplained original podcast. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe and view on YouTube. And please visit our store link in the bio. Thank you for listening. And remember that paranormal 
is.